All right, welcome. Today I'm at uh, my parents' house in Long Island, New York. My father has a totem operation, small operation that he's been doing just for providing some mushrooms of his own uh, to eat. And we're going to be making some more totems today. And what I do is I fly out with a bag of uh, spawn today. I have some lion's mane. It's actually from my friend uh, David Weintraub. And I'm going to be spawning it. So I'll take the lion's mane. And I got this from Forest Farming, this technique. Pretty much you lay down um, a newspaper or a paper bag and then you're going to crumble the spawn up, just a handful of spawn. And then you want to take big logs with totems. You don't want to have the skinny six to four inches like you would with uh, saw, uh, a plug inoculation or sawdust inoculation with the little hand tool. Uh, with this is for the bigger logs. So I'm going to take these big, I think these are oak, might be maple. Basically you want to make sure you have a hard wood and then you're gonna sprinkle it out. You may, you're basically making uh, kind of like a burger, like a triple stacked burger with the spawn in between. And if you wanted to make a lot of these, you could buy a bag of spawn and expand it out um, with Lipotec, which is just basically unsupplemented sawdust pellets, hydrate them, and then spawn directly onto that and let it colonize, and it'll double or triple or quadruple the sawdust spawn volume you have, so you can save some money on spawn because the bags get kind of expensive all right so we got that layer and the top layer you want a little bit thinner and the reason why is the mycelium will spread through here and I'm, it's going to grow down here but then the top layer is only going to be about two to four inches thick basically half of the distance from there to there so it'll colonize at the same rate and when I'm done with these what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them cover them with plastic bags or paper bags or if you have a big tarp you could throw a big tarp over it and the main reason for that is to let the the, uh, the logs colonize and not lose moisture so that's one of the issues. If you have these sitting on the sun and it's not raining a lot, the the sandwiches in between will dry out and the mycelium will never get a hold. You shouldn't have to move these. If anything, put a sprinkler on them. If you're having a very dry season, put a sprinkler right here to where it keeps them wet. Put a uh, a like a grain sack or something like that. You know, a, a cloth sack over it to help kind of make make moisture but allow some fresh air at the same time. So here's the top layer, and you want to use fresh, freshly cut. You don't want to use something that's been laying in the woods for a year or sitting down in front of somebody's house drying out. You want it to be wet and green and healthy too. You don't want it to be infected. So in my experience, this is with Masters Mix. We actually got, the last time I made this, we actually got a flush off of the Masters Mix in about, I think it was like four or six weeks after spawning. And that was basically just the spawn fruiting, but it gave them a good like half pound cluster. And then from there, you'll see a, a, a harvest in the fall and the following spring and the following fall as well. And if these are healthy and you keep them off the ground and keep them wet, they should yield for a couple years. So, yeah, so we'll go, we'll go ahead and wrap them up with a, a paper bag, or plastic bag rather, and that'll just help the moisture. We'll, we'll leave this, the bag on there for a couple weeks and then take it off for about a month, something like that, just to keep the moisture in. So, yeah, that's it. Hopefully you like this video. Uh, make sure you check out Forest Farming. That's where I, I, I looked up this technique and, and uh, stole some of their ideas. So uh, yeah, check out their website. They, they do this on a much, much larger scale. If you like this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Keep on mushrooming.